Hey, what's up everybody, Richie Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about whether or not you should update your Bodicera image for the Steam Deck or not. Now, I've been getting this question a lot because I've actually put together a couple different images for the Steam Deck using Bodicera, and I actually have a couple more coming out. So if you wanna stay up to date on those new images for the Steam Deck, hit the subscribe button right here on this video. You'll stay up to date on all future videos here on the Richard Gaming Guy YouTube channel, but I do have a tour video walking guys through a 512 gigabyte image that I've been working on for the last couple weeks. This will be coming out in the next two days or so from the time of this initial post on this video. So definitely hit subscribe, stay up to date on that. You're definitely going to be interested if you're into everything Steam Deck like I am. So let's talk about this a little bit. Generally, I always shy away from doing any sort of updates not just on Bodicera, but on any emulation platform, and I'll tell you why. There's no way to know 100% exactly what you're getting yourself into. Oftentimes, updates are done because they're trying to better something about the previous version. So let's say PS2 was a little bit wonky. Um, something about that experience was wonky, and now they're fixing it with a new update. We go and we do that update, PS2, lo and behold, works perfect as described you know that was their intention they achieved that oftentimes what happens is something else gets overlooked so now gamecube might have been working previously perfectly now there's a slight issue with gamecube this doesn't always happen usually on Bodicera it doesn't but on other emulation platforms i have run into this quite often and it just puts you into this cycle where you're constantly updating every time a new update comes out you go and you do it because you want to get back to what you once had with everything running fairly smooth yes it, they made an adjustment and an improvement in one area but sometimes like i said something else suffers so that's one reason i try to shy away from it i like to live by the motto of if it's not broke don't try and fix it if you are having a good positive experience don't roll the dice trying to better something that you're just not having an issue with. It just doesn't make sense. In addition to that, one other thing you need to consider is independent emulators that aren't officially supported. So let's look at Nintendo Switch for Bodicera. Nintendo Switch for Bodicera is not officially supported. So that means that you can, in fact, get Bodicera running Switch games and emulation actually really well. However, you have to do that on your own. It's not officially supported. So when they do an update, they don't take that into consideration. So almost every single time you do an update, and let's say you had Switch running, you had 15 games for Nintendo Switch on your image, working perfectly. You go and update everything, everything else works great. Nintendo Switch is not going to function correctly because they don't consider that when they go and they do these updates. It's not officially supported, so they're not at all concerned with how that is going to run on the next version. So you have to go and figure that out on your own. Oftentimes in the beginning when an update first comes out, there's no support on that. People haven't yet figured out how to get that up and running yet, so there's usually a disconnect. You're not going to get that up and running for usually a couple weeks at least until somebody figures out how to do it. Some guy on YouTube tells you how to fix that, um, and then you can get it up and running again. Not always a good experience if that is one of your favorite collections. You just updated, hoping for a better experience, and you got something that is delivering less performance uh, and less of a great experience than what you previously had. So let's talk about specifically though, the Steam Deck version of Bodicera. One thing that people usually run into an issue with is when you go and you boot up Bodicera using the Steam Deck version on the Steam Deck, of course, you're gonna get a prompt on screen saying, hey, there's a new update available, do you wanna update? And a lot of people are tempted to hit, yes, let's get the latest and greatest version. And they go and they update automatically. And what ends up happening is you update, seems to be good. You go to reboot and you get a black screen. That is awful because now you've just basically ruined your entire image and your entire performance on your Steam Deck. So Bonacera actually posts on their website and they say that you are not supposed to update through the stable channel for Bodicera on the Steam Deck, you're supposed to update through the beta channel. This is not typical for Bodicera. On the regular Bodicera images out there or um, versions out there, that's not how I would actually recommend doing updates. It's the exact opposite, in fact. Typically, we see stable and we assume that means that's the best version. And usually that is the case. However, not on the Steam Deck version. Beta means that they're still working on it. It's a work in progress. Not everything's sorted out. They're still trying to figure out you know, little quirks along the way and better the experience there. However, 
just the way it is here on the Steam Deck version, you want to go and update that way only through the beta channel. If you go and you go through the stable channel, you're going to end up, like I said, with that black screen and completely ruin your Bodicera image for the Steam Deck. So do not do that. Make sure that if you are going to roll the dice and gamble on an update, make sure it's on the beta channel for Bodicera. So it's really a weird sort of situation because like I said, it's not how I would recommend doing a Bodicera update typically, but it is what it is for the Steam Deck version. So hopefully this helps you guys out, saves you the headache, uh, keeps you from potentially ruining your experience with the Steam Deck running Bodicera. So if this was a help to you guys and you guys value this information, please leave a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube as I try to grow this channel and get good information out there for everybody. So you guys know the drill though, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. Like I said before, got some new images coming out for the Steam Deck that will be available for everybody very soon. Super excited about that. So definitely hit subscribe, stay up to date on all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next video.